Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition, a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Jada. And I'm Nolan. And here's what we have for you on this week's SMD Wire. Shipbuilders came together and celebrated the launch of the replica 17th century Mellon Dove wooden sailing vessel last month. The builders worked for three years at the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum in St. Michael's to complete the three-story wooden ship from the keel up to the rigging. A crane lifted the seven-ton boat and made a 180-degree turn to place her in Miles River. The builders pushed a gangplank to the top deck, hopped aboard, and celebrated with homemade ceramic mugs of aged whiskey. The vessel is expected to make its way across the Chesapeake Bay this summer to its home port of historic St. Mary's City. College enrollment dropped during the pandemic. Undergraduate and graduate enrollment in public four-year universities has decreased during the pandemic, and community college enrollment has seen an even more dramatic decline as the pandemic led to financial uncertainty across the country and caused colleges to make changes to the class delivery, student life, and other services, students were enrolling at lower rates. Historically, times of economic hardship resulted in increased enrollment in higher education in America, according to the National Bureau of Economic Research. Calvert High School criminal justice students participated in a mock crash in the school's parking lot on Darius Beach Road. The Chesapeake Region Safety Council coordinated this scenario, which was a double fatal two-vehicle collision caused by a drunk driver. The exercise was done to serve as a reminder about the dangers of driving under the influence of alcohol and drugs, distracted driving, and not using seatbelts. The Calvert County Sheriff's Office, the Maryland State P Prince Frederick Barracks, and many other emergency service groups also participated in the activity. Calvert Hospice to be acquired by a regional group. Calvary Hospice officials announced on Tuesday the 38-year-old nonprofit is in the process of becoming a part of the regional organization. Calvert's current board of directors, Chairman Gregory Kernan and Sarah Simmons, the executive director, said in a release that a letter of intent has been signed with the Hospice of Chesapeake for the subsequent exquisition of the local entity. Now turning to sports. Leonardtown girls lacrosse defeats the Great Mills girls 22-4, redeeming themselves from the devastating loss to Northern High School's Patriots earlier in the season, losing 20-6. Blue Crabs take their home opener. After opening the season by taking three or four games on the road against the defending Athletic League of Professional Baseball Champions, Lexington League Legends, the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs upended the Staten Island Furry Fury Hawks 9-5 in their home opener at Regency Furniture Stadium on Wednesday evening. Southern Maryland trade 5-4, heading to the bottom of the 8th inning, but the Blue Crabs discord 5 runs on 2 hits as Ruby Sylvia deliter delivered a 3-run double to put the host in front with Alex Crosby provided a pair of insurance runs with a 2-run single. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm Nolan. And I'm Jada. Signing off.